Catalytic converter thefts are rising in record numbers. In fact, video uncovered by Denver 7 Investigates shows just how quickly crooks can pluck yours from your car. Chief investigative reporter Tony Kovaleski tonight continuing his in-depth look at a crime that has become uncomfortably common in Colorado. It's 447 in the morning. A cul-de-sac in Littleton. Three guys in a gray SUV. The driver stays inside. Look closely. You don't see this often. When you watch the video, what's it say to you? A rare look at criminals in action through the lenses of two security cameras. It's out of control. I had this camera up. Steve Jones strategically mounted the cameras trying to protect his property. Maybe somebody will see it. Maybe somebody will recognize the people who did it. That's the sound of a sawzall cutting out Steve's catalytic converter. There's the sound. Yeah. Right in your driveway. Yeah. Now watch how little time it took. From the moment the two criminals exited the car, then they crawled under the truck, cut out Steve's catalytic converter, and finally got back in the car. The clock shows it took only 45 seconds. I couldn't believe they had the audacity to come up in my driveway. So close to my house, I just felt real violated. The video also shows Steve's neighbor came out about 30 seconds after the criminals arrived. He said that yeah, the guy showed a gun and told him just to get back in the house. This isn't stop us, we turned into a real tragedy. And that's the heart of Steve's frustration. He filed the police report and sent police the video you've watched. It shows two guys getting out of a car. It does. And police haven't responded? Nope. I haven't heard thing. What's that say? They just don't care. This is not a crime that they care about. We heard similar frustrations from victims of catalytic converter theft in this RTD park and ride in Boulder. It's incredulous that there's not more security here. Bill Anyart had his converter stolen from the RTD park and ride. I just think this whole thing needs to be escalated. Not enough's being done. The mounting frustrations are a product of the massive increase in thefts. Boulder, Denver, Littleton, and all of Colorado reporting record numbers of thefts. Our digging found statewide catalytic converter thefts increased by more than 5,000% between 2019 and 2021. And law enforcement sources confirm Current laws in Colorado make it difficult to catch and successfully prosecute the thieves. What message does that say to the bad guys? There's no penalty. They're not going to get caught. If nobody's going to try and look for them, then why stop doing it? How hard is it going to be to catch these guys? It's going to be difficult. We brought the frustrations aired by Steve Jones to the Littleton Police Department. His reaction was your department hasn't done enough on a crime that he said could get really ugly. I certainly can understand his frustrations or his concerns. Could the Littleton Police Department have done a better job here? I think that communication is something that we've recognized we can do better at. But it's important to stress here, communicating with victims and catching bad guys are two entirely different issues. And stopping catalytic converter thefts is a challenge for every law enforcement agency in the state. It's extremely frustrating for our officers. Denver Police Chief Paul Pazin echoes that frustration. In his city, catalytic converter thefts have increased by more than 900%. I know of officers that have pulled over a, a truck with uh, the back bed of this truck full of catalytic converters, and we cannot hold somebody accountable for that particular crime. How many cats are you buying a day? Maybe 500. Using hidden cameras earlier this year, our Denver 7 investigation found this location north of Denver. So this one's 70 bucks, no. this one's 60 bucks. And this one's 300. Have a good one. You too. A location that was following current laws, asking for an ID, and purchasing hundreds of catalytic converters every day. What do you say to those victims out there that are out two, three, or four thousand dollars because a cat stole them? No, it's a very unfortunate. We need to change the law. I'm all for it. You want the law changed? Yeah, we can change it. The business owner encouraged Colorado lawmakers to require buyers of catalytic converters to verify vehicle identification numbers as part of the transaction. 
Based upon the current environment, do you see catalytic converter theft slowing down anytime soon? I do not see the crime of catalytic converter theft slowing down anytime soon in Colorado. Earlier this month, Governor Polis signed two new laws designed to help cut down on catalytic converter thefts here in Colorado. But bill sponsors and Denver's police chief both recognize this is only a first step. Colorado's attorney general said at the bill signing, we are just getting started and we know we have to do more. Our reporting on this critical public safety issue will continue. I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski.